up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. Straighten up and fly right. Hey there, hey. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your hey top. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet the lunch at Freddy's. I see. Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. Victory in Europe is at hand. That's a rumor anyway, as President Roosevelt is reported to be meeting with the leaders of Great Thanks, Britain Anthem. and the Soviet I Union to determine how you Europe will be divided amongst the allies after Germany's supply? imminent defeat. The meeting, yeah, which thanks, is taking but, uh, place at a look, secret location, uh, really once again going. puts together the men who have come to be known like as it. the I Big promise. Three. Our own President I gotta Franklin get going Roosevelt, now. British I'll Prime Minister around. Winston Churchill, and Joseph Stalin of the Soviet Union. Military experts are hoping this conference will result in an even stronger relationship between the United States and Great Britain and strengthen Western ties with the Soviet Union. Hey, hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of movies who immediately tried to kill me right after I left. Eh, nah, probably the bombers. What is their neighborhood? Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Mm. Nice. <laughs> the lowlife get the money for this. Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? 600. <laughs> oh. I like your buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. Hey, right. fellas. Hey. Thanks, Joe. Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He like to All talk right, to you and Joe. Go home. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. Hey, no need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm at. I hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. 
And I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salud. Salud. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got their stomach for this life. So now, uh, I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody You should take the highway, Vito. Just because someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Carino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. Right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice <laughs> going. Yeah, but I almost that's got good. me ass kicked. The president lived through the yeah, war just I like that. <laughs> hey, You're that's right. all part of the You're deal, pal. The crowds, Make it or leave right? it. You know, the it ain't like bad guys. For anything else. That's yeah, not what I mean. Don't worry about understand? it. It's all gonna be a piece yeah, of cake. I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. So, uh, you handle this person? next job like you handled the last one. And there's crouchy. a good chance you'll be accepted in your family. Got a scam, After you pay the initiation fee, of course. Some time inside a while back. Um, I heard you used to stick up gas <laughs> You gonna make Some idiots are drunk in pocket. We're bringing them in. I'll let that That's a fight. fucking fortune. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. said it was cheap, huh? One of the but time trust me, the, track, the some benefits far out of where the cost. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guy there. There you are. Hey, you just hey, got an order here. Take care of that thing we talked about yet. Yeah, Mike's a pushy guy. Yeah, yeah. It's all in a good That's, That's when you said the last time. You'll see. Don't disappoint me Is there a safe again. Walk around here. Boss, I don't. Am, I am. Now come with me. Street. We got some yeah, other business to discuss. That's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets Ryan, are full kind of criminals these days. I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. All right, see ya. I miss Joe when I was overseas, but uh, not that much. Hey, this is Joe's bed. I'm sleeping on the couch.
Vito's pleasure pal, Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. Whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? He told me to come by and see him today. He's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, Mio Papi. All right, bye, Mama. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Mind your beeswax, kid. Yeah, who is it? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Come on in! What's up? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Okay, come in. Yeah, who is it? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Come on in. So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah, he got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call it. Jesus <clears throat> 25 pounds, 7.92 caliber, 1,200 rounds per minute, fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar. No shit! Wait, are you kidding me? Where, where were you? you what was it, Normandy, huh? Uh, Africa? Well, uh, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th parish. No shit, you were a paratrooper? <laughs> that was kinda hairy. Yeah, well, a little <laughs> picnic, I tell you. I got hits in the same time. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and DSC. Oh, oh, wait, wait, you got a cross? I tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy, we did you tour beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic. I was crawling over the fence on the way back. Poke my eye out. Oh, hey, okay. it's good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Press hey. Radio News. By the way, I'm happy. Hey, good United to meet you. You know, we'll meet some hardware. You know where to find it. Here you go. U.S. forces have completely encircled the sprawling city. She's a big girl. We're now facing a Japanese occupation force estimated to be 20,000 strong. Nice to meet you. Early reports have already indicated and there's a that this couple could thousand be one of the bloodiest battles yet the seen in the Pacific. It. More okay. on this story as the information comes in, and hopefully the Japanese are pushed out of Manila. <laughs> Press radio.
dog, Windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name's Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for a job, so I came in. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. But a Rico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well. You all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. He's got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. This pile of crates under that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. DLT, Delta Radio. from him. Sicily. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm to the States. And you can keep Mussolini. the 10 bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck show. out of here, then. Don't show your My face around here again. again. Yeah, don't worry. A man of honor. I'll make a hundred times more. What things got Barbaro pretty bad for us after Mussolini Wait, came into power. You said Barbaro. My old man figured Joe I needed Barbaro. to get drafted or locked yeah, up. Yeah, so what? So, Shit. He sent me to America Nobody and works got me a job working for Carrie Crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. So what happened to you, Bob? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and they died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said Vito, aim for the Joe fat bastard. Barbara. We gotta nail him before he gets oh, in the shit. building. Get ready. We wanna load right, crates I'm on. Works they got All right. Show we'll time. They got guns up there in that window. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come and talk Vito. to them. Mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with Back me up, Vito? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I 
just come back from overseas and he's picking you up. I'll cut you moving! Listen, you gotta understand a person in my position has gotta be dead! So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? No, go ahead. Where'd I put off oh, that shit? Here we Come out of your hole, you fucking rat! Move it, Vito! We can't let that fat bastard get away! He might not be home. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. No, we We're coming good. for you, Porky! Me up, Vito. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. I'll you to you say your name was. Vito. Stay sharp, Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. Okay. A good friend. <laughs> I just wanted to check with you first. Uh huh. Uh, war oh, hero and all that guy. shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I told you. Oh, fuck! Watch out! Just come back from there. Must be able to handle this. Uh, what the fuck is that? Wanna make a little that? more money? I got just the day. The guy's here with the drugs. What is he doing? Scared asshole! Half of them not cough it up. I need God someone to give me a little money. God damn it! Now this whole much. fucking place is gonna Them burn to the ground. Man. What a waste of money! Don't need a hand. Oh. 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 See? What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of him. Well, let's say you do ah, you said the right. Why it must work. You got it. Which is why Steve ain't Vito, going come out, huh? We gotta right, move. Steve. Right, boss. Collect at least a hundred oh, bucks. Yeah, that's all. For walking around, all right, taking Vito, this oh, year and meeting new people. Easy fucking right, money, huh? Showtime, Vito. Look up! Look up, no! They teach you that in the army? Uh, hey, it's better than most. All right, right get going. Hit the button, Vito. What the hell are you doing, Joe? Why? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try it. I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. What kind of game you playing? The, job, huh? the kind where you win your turn. Whoa, and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Here they come! Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got armies. <laughs> Show tank, you know. <laughs> Shit, there's an army of them. Where you get them? Vito, go do something! We can't That's just the fucking sit here! You got. What the fuck do you expect me to do? Just shoot at me for Christ's sake! Vito, do something! Money. You're the expert here! Glad you decided to leave the Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, Come on, yeah. Porky's upstairs! He must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. <laughs> Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Don't kill me! Why don't you get out of my face before Please. you get I don't hurt? Wait. No can do. You should have thought a burger was me before. Kiss my get ass. Going. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Don Clement said it, not me. Give it a try, then, asshole. Watch it. Oh! Hey, Vito. 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 Hey,
Get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in high Brook. Let's get you to the car. Oh, You're heavier than you look. Check his eyes. This fat fuck. Let me shut my balls off. Take it easy, Mr. Man Man. Okay. Anybody else? Got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Hey, careful! This fucking hurts. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't quit your moaning. Hey, you're right. I don't need to get pissy. I'm the one bleeding to death here. No, please. I don't want to die. Let's go, Fido! Here's the money, boss. Nah. This whole fucking place is coming apart. Here's your share. I watch you take care of Bill. You're good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah. Right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here. I gotta go get him back to business. Say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, we will do. I'll see you later. And Vito, I almost forgot. No call. I want you should meet him at Freddy's. Gotta hurry. Fire spread. Can't damn it. 
Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy, taking him. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when hey, you can't go to the hospital. Where the hell you been? Yes. Okay, well, I know as soon as you call. What's going on? Hospital. Remember when you go to the hospital with a bullet in you? First thing they do is call the guy we're meeting here is one of them. So I'll break up the other time and see how it works. You shouldn't need to visit the other shit. You always been a quick kid. We're done with the small time jobs. It's time to make some real shit. Yeah, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hi, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of hey, Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Him. Yeah. Absolutely, Henry. Just hang in there, pal. Trust him with my life. Okay, in a listen, I, can I got smell a job the for you. Lucky for the me. money's good. I need gas stamps. I want the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? The Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? Why? Too much for you. No, no, no. I'm just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, uh, can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around there somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. It's the address. Tell her to say. I know about the safe, but the keys aren't there. That's your problem. So what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks. 10,000 dollars worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. There's another job for you. So? What do you say? Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take the piece with you. We don't there. never know what's going to happen. Park right in front. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beat. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store. Stick up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, you cut drops to the third. Abish, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. <sighs> You El Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help. He's gonna bleed. So long, thanks, Doc. Good God, hand him. you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could've waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me in my place. <clears throat> All right. Breaking news for ECLA. I'm Bob Berman. There's apparently been a large-scale gunfight at a distillery in Sand Island. And to make matters worse, the distillery is now. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Price Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right. Tell you what. My sister's in the hospital. If you give me a lift over, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Try to cross the street from the LPA so it ain't like you're gonna be going anyway. We at sure, ECNR no have an important breaking news item. We are getting reports of a large-scale shootout at a Sand Island liquor distillery. Further information is unavailable at this time, ladies and gentlemen, as police cannot examine the scene due to the large fire that has consumed much of the building. More information as it comes on ECNR. And now, back to the...
Hey, how you doing? I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have heard us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Where'd you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing. I said to be slow sorry, down. We gotta get there in one piece, you know. Fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. problem. Alright, look, I better be going. I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money too. Don't worry, I'll make something up. Alright. Give her a big kiss for me. I will. Okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Alright, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you.